Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Arjika Vada. Uh, I'm with NASA and I'm the program manager for the U.S. Greenhouse Gas Center. And I'm really excited to talk to you about this uh, new multi-agency effort that has recently launched. So, starting from uh, what is the context within which the Greenhouse Gas Center is being developed. So, there are enhanced efforts and uh, really high targets that have been set within the U.S. and internationally to help reduce uh, greenhouse gas uh, emissions. And so within this context of developing an improved framework for uh, monitoring and measurement of greenhouse gas emissions and fluxes, NASA, as the lead implementing agency, has come together with uh, EPA, NOAA, and NIST to help prototype the U.S. Greenhouse Gas Center. So the goal, again, is to help integrate and make available and more shareable and usable information on greenhouse gas emissions and fluxes and make that available to a diverse suite of stakeholders from policy makers to different levels of government, federal, state, local, as well as non-government organizations, uh, boundary organizations and others that can make use of this information to better assess and track progress on meeting uh, mitigation targets. So what is the U.S. Greenhouse Gas Center? This is a busy map and again a lot of credit to the entire team at NASA and our partner agencies that have contributed input uh, to, to this uh, uh, chart. So really looking at leveraging the program of record, observations from space, uh, airborne as well as in situ ground-based observations, um, combining that uh, with uh, uh, models and advanced data simulation systems to help prepare and improve estimates of greenhouse gas emissions and fluxes, and making that available through a coordinated data system. You can see that there are different tiers of that system that really helps enable collaboration between advanced users to help share code, improve uh, estimates again of greenhouse gas emissions and fluxes, and also uh, help develop standards and processes for thorough evaluation of new measurements as these become available. And so we're not just talking about federal, but also non-federal measurements. And so the Greenhouse Gas Center is looking to, even though it's starting as a partnership among these four federal agencies, it is looking to expand and involve engagement from non-public entities, both domestic and international. And so we are using a number of focus areas that we are prototyping this center with, and I'll be talking to you about that uh, in the next few slides. So really excited to share that we did uh, uh, recently uh, release a beta portal for the U.S. Greenhouse Gas Center. So this was done at uh, the climate event uh, last week. And so you can go on the portal, earth.gov forward slash GHG Center. And so that's where you can find information and initial curated data catalog with data sets as well as uh, um, data analysis tools, a hub environment where, again, you can collaborate leveraging different Python notebooks, as well as data insights. These are storytelling mechanisms to help share information about what we're doing with the earth science and other ancillary data to better, again, inform progress on greenhouse gas emission reduction and on measure, measurement and monitoring of greenhouse gases. The initial focus is on methane and we're looking as well as uh, carbon dioxide and again we're looking to um, iterate, develop an iterative process for expanding the work of the Greenhouse Gas Center with a very focused stakeholder engagement approach. So these are our three uh, main focus areas that we're using to prototype the center. So we did this uh, uh, fiscal year 23 and 24. These are the two years of the prototype phase of the center. And we are focusing on um, grid and anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions, starting with methane, natural um, sources and sinks of greenhouse gases, and lastly, looking at leveraging airborne as well as uh, space-based observations to help identify and quantify emissions from large events. So starting from our first, uh, again, really highlighting that this is a, a multi-agency effort. And so you can see our partner agencies here highlighted. And also in uh, active discussions with others from the federal and non-federal government. So looking at uh, what uh, some of our data sets and catalog looks like. So this is our principal data set for focus area one, grid anthropogenic emissions. And so it represents the EPA uh, methane grid inventory. This is a geographically disaggregated data set 
that helps really share information on emissions from different sectors. And um, these data sets represent or matches the emissions that are actually part of the national greenhouse gas inventory. We have worked with our partners at EPA, and I see colleagues in the room, um, to make this uh, available and to uh, help provide different types of visualization and analysis tools uh, for people to explore and be able to better and fair understand where emissions are changing. But also this is really helpful in being able to improve comparisons with atmospheric-based observations. So it really aims at, again at helping improve uh, um, the inventory itself by pointing and helping identify where there may be some uncertainties and again um, providing improvements. The next focus areas I want to talk to you about is uh, the greenhouse gas uh, focus area on natural sources and sinks. And so we understand that except for the focus on anthropogenic emissions, to be able to better again inform our efforts to um, mitigate um, um, and, and uh, improve uh, um, our efforts to mitigate uh, uh, climate change. Um, we are looking at better improving our understanding of natural sources and sinks. And so we're doing that by improving and extending bottom-up estimates. So some of the goals of the U.S. Greenhouse Gas Center involve uh, routine delivery of uh, land atmosphere flux estimates on, a, again, on a routine basis uh, by aiming at a, a lag of a few months behind real time. We're also looking at collaborating with partner agencies on definitions and expanding definitions of natural sources and sinks. Uh, in addition, refining uh, with uh, leveraging atmospheric data, contributing to initiatives not just uh, on the domestic, uh, but also on the international sphere, like the World Meteorological Organization uh, Global Greenhouse Gas Watch. So a lot of the members of the team are part of and contribute to those uh, nascent efforts as well. And helping improve greenhouse gas budgets by helping compare against uh, um, assimilating um, atmospheric observations and also, again, contributing to the development of uh, um, standards or best practices for model intercomparison and evaluation. Something else I want to highlight to you all is that uh, uh, as part of this effort, we're also focusing on developing the workforce and we're inaugurating a summer school on data assimilation um, in collaboration with Colorado State University this summer. Uh, you can find out, well, you will be able, I think, soon to find out more information about this on, on the GHG Center portal. And so applications are currently open through the end of January. And again, this is an inaugural data simulation summer school that will be taking place this in June of 2024. The last focus area, uh, I think, deserves no introduction. Rob Green uh, preceded me and, and uh, provided a fantastic presentation on how data from EMIT helps us uh, understand and, and um, be able to quantify emissions from uh, point sources. And so we're really looking here at leveraging um, measurements from EMIT, but also um, airborne uh, observations like from Avaris NG and Avaris 3 and making this available through open source principles, so providing the data as well as the algorithms um, openly available so people can trace and reproduce this information. Uh, another aspect of this uh, work is really focusing on collaborating again across federal but also uh, non-public partners, philanthropic organizations, private sector in developing standards and best practices for evaluating and on-ramping new measurements that uh, will be coming available. And so that's also a key part of this uh, focus area. So here you see Again, some methane plumes uh, uh, visible uh, through the EMIT uh, instrument, and I'm not going to go into all the details because Rob shared these fantastic uh, visualizations before me. I just wanted to also highlight that as part of the portal, we have some data analysis capabilities, so you, can, you have some subsetting tools, you can select an area of interest and be able to, again, uh, select data sets and look at time series and, and compare um, um, uh, from, uh, look at time series, so select specific dates and then look at specific data sets. We're also working on adding some capabilities here where we're going to be able to overlay different data. So this will be coming in 2024. 
Lastly, I wanted to share with you that we have an exciting timeline in 2024 where the U.S. Greenhouse Gas Center is engaging with scientific communities. So as we are here, we are at the American Neurological Society. We will be having a town hall. I think we will be having a short course as well as a number of other sessions, again, to engage with the scientific community, but also looking at additional uh, meetings that are targeting different types of stakeholders and users like states as well as uh, private sector and NGOs, international partners, so we're in active discussions with our international partners through uh, organizations that bring together whether it is space agencies or other elements uh, that also help link to policy and other stakeholders internationally. And so you see again here, this is our timeline to completing the prototype phase of the center which ends with this full portal release and also full demonstration capability stakeholder workshop. And so lastly, I want to highlight again, please visit our beta portal to find out more information about the Greenhouse Gas Center. You can also scan this barcode. Uh, that way you can uh, get information and subscribe to receive updates and, and uh, news on different activities of the center, get involved and also join a user focus group that we are standing up currently on these three uh, prototype focus areas that I shared with you. And so with that, uh, I am finishing my presentation. Thank you very much.